Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently I have been kind of introduced to a lot of new skincare products and I've had the opportunity to sit down with a couple brands and just learn a lot more about skincare. I just kind of wanted to share with you guys what I've learned. There were a lot of things that I was doing before that I thought were good that were really bad. I was just ended up making my skin a lot worse. So there's a lot of things that you think you're doing that are good. So first, I just kind of want to talk to you a little bit about what I've learned before we start getting into the products that I've been using. So a few weeks ago, I had the opportunity to go to the Dermalogica headquarters and they gave me a facial and I got to meet a bunch of people and just kind of like learn more about the brand and their products and the philosophy behind them. Full disclosure, this video is not sponsored by Dermalogica, but the majority of these products are Dermalogica because I got a lot of them while I was there and I've been loving them. So when I was getting my facial, the girl who was doing it said that my skin was really thirsty. So when she applied the moisturizer, it just like soaked it up. And I, the whole time I was thinking, that's so weird because I feel like I use so much hydration. Like I use beauty oils and I use these like thick moisturizers and I'm always using like hydrating sheet masks and stuff like that because I just want to, you know, I know hydration is good for your skin. She did some anti-aging stuff, um, like a light exfoliation, used some hydrating products and my skin looked beautiful afterwards, absolutely beautiful. The next day, um, and probably like three days afterwards, my skin was a little bit dry in areas, kind of like around my temple. It felt, uh, it felt very dry and I didn't want to ruin anything that she, she had done. So I kind of took a step back from all the products that I had been using and all I used to moisturize my face for a few days, I don't think I wore any makeup for a few days, I just used rosehip oil. That was it, straight up, 100% pure, natural, organic, rosehip oil. <laughs> rosehip oil is great for anti-aging. I've been using this stuff for a really long time. And this actually maintained my skin after the facial. So I didn't have a ton of breakouts afterwards. Um, actually, since then, I haven't had a whole lot of breakouts. I get the occasional one here and there, you know, of course, but they don't last as long. And I, before I was breaking out like crazy and what I figured out I was doing, I was absolutely over cleansing and over exfoliating. Uh, I have a tendency to do this. I think we all have a tendency to do this. If you get texture or if you have breakouts, you feel like I have to like even out my skin, the surface of my skin. Like, don't judge me, we've all been there. I was using my Clarisonic, then I would go in with like another exfoliator that was kind of gritty, and then I would finish it off with uh, the Daily Microfoliant, which I love and I haven't stopped using. That's really bad. Don't do that. <laughs> if you over exfoliate your face, if you over cleanse your face, if you're using like really harsh cleansers, it's going to dry out your skin and it doesn't matter how much moisture you put into it, it's not gonna hold on to that moisture. And that is what was happening to my face. And because it wasn't holding on to that moisture, I was breaking out. My skin wasn't, it wasn't creating oil, but it was causing breakouts. It was causing it to become irritated. Now I have been exfoliating maybe two or three times a week, maybe three max. And my skin has looked beautiful ever since. I mean, I'm wearing makeup right now, but I have like a couple little random hormonal breakouts that have popped up around my temples. I guess that's a problem area for me, you know, each month. You know what I'm saying? And then typically like a lot around my jaw, but all of that has really cleared up. So I haven't been getting like big painful breakouts at all. So now I want to talk about the other products that I've been using. Uh, so the rosehip oil is huge. Um, I get it on Amazon. It's by Rada Skincare and it's fantastic. I love their jojoba oil as well. If you are more acne prone, I would go for jojoba oil and rosehip oil is great for anti-aging. Uh, also from Rada is tea tree oil. Again, natural organic tea tree oil from Rada. And I like to use this when I have like a really, really big painful breakout. Uh, if that happens, then I will typically just take a little bit of this on a Q-tip and pop it right on. And you don't wanna go overboard. You do not wanna use this all over your face. You do not wanna use it on like every tiny little spot that you see, don't do that. If you have one that is particularly aggressive, put a little bit of tea tree oil on a Q-tip, pop it on and it makes it so much better. All right, so another thing that I like to use to treat the breakouts after, you know, maybe you have attacked one. It's not bad to do if it's ready. You know what I'm saying? Don't force it. Don't force it. If you have kind of like a cluster, like I had a little cluster right here. It didn't really get bad. Not too bad. It was more like red than anything. It wasn't really raised or anything, but it was there for a long time. And I was like, what are you doing? Tea tree oil isn't going to do anything for that. I love this Murad Acne Control Rapid Relief Acne Spot Treatment. Now it's got 2% salicylic acid, which is great for treating acne. Acne. What you're supposed to do is take a small amount and work like a thin film over an affected area. Something that's really important to remember is to follow the directions. You are, once again, going to exacerbate your breakouts. You're going to make your skin worse if you do not follow the directions. If you take this and you put globs of it over breakouts, 
it's probably going to do the opposite of what it's supposed to do because you're not using it correctly. I am so guilty of not following the directions. You just think like, I have so many breakouts. If I just use like a ton of this stuff, it'll be, it'll be great. No, that's not how it works. Before I was using a foaming cleanser, and so these came pretty recently, but they are fantastic and I absolutely love them. They're both cream cleansers, which is great. So the first one is the Ultra Calming Cleanser. It feels super hydrating on the skin, so it doesn't lather up. It's so gentle. Uh, it's perfect for like in the morning when you're not wearing any makeup, you take a shower, you know, to get ready for the day. This is absolutely perfect for that. And then this is from their Age Smart line, uh, the Skin Resurfacing Cleanser, same thing. Uh, this is meant for anti-aging, but it is a cream cleanser, so it's super gentle. So I've been using these two products as my cleansers, this one during the day and this one at night. <sighs> okay, another thing is when you wear a lot of makeup, you have to take it off. I mean, and it can be, trust me, it can be a lot. I've gone through a few different products to remove my makeup, and I like a lot of them, uh, but my favorite so far has been the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. This is an oil, it's an actual oil. So you put a pump in your hand and then go in and it just removes all your makeup. Like it breaks down everything, even like waterproof mascara. It's the only stuff that takes off waterproof mascara. I used to go in with makeup remover on like a cotton pad and it's just harsh going in with a cotton pad all over your face, a, a, a bunch of cotton pads or if you're using like a makeup removing wipe. I try not to use those very often because the wipes themselves can just be, can just cause a lot of pulling on your skin and this is just so much more gentle. So I definitely think that if you are a makeup wearer, you should look into a makeup removing oil. As far as exfoliators go, um, my Clarisonic Mia has been a lifesaver. I've been using this since I received it. It was a gift from NYX like way, way back. It has absolutely changed my life. It's fantastic. I do self tan and when I self tan, I tan my face. Not everybody does that. You don't have to do that. Um, I just, I like to do it. Uh, I haven't had any bad experiences with it, so I'm gonna keep on doing it. Anyway, when I remove my tan, this is what I use. So I use my Clarisonic once a week, basically. <laughs> it's fine, everything's fine. So I use my Clarisonic about once a week. I don't think that I would use it more than that. It can be pretty rough. It definitely gives my skin like a great exfoliation and clean, like really gets in, like I get larger pores around my nose and this is like, one of the best things for it. So they're expensive. They're definitely an investment. Um, and I'm glad I have it, man. So glad I have it. So I definitely would recommend it. Another exfoliant, which has water spots all over it. And uh, I'm too lazy to clean it off for this video. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna continue with real life. This is by ZO Skin Health. This is the exfoliating polish. It's kind of like a fine sand, if that makes sense, but it's, it's pretty gritty. All you need is a tiny amount and just really gently work it into the skin. That's all you need. But I really, really like this as like a more intense exfoliant if I need something a little bit more. Like if I wanna use, you know, a paste and get in, get in there rather than using my Clarisonic. But I've really been enjoying this. Their stuff is super expensive. So we'll have to see when I'm done with it if I would go and repurchase it. Because I use the Clarisonic once a week, I might use this every other week or something like that. So I don't use it often because it is so gritty. The next exfoliator, you guys have seen a million times. I feel like I've talked about this so much that I don't even need to talk about it. It's the Daily Microfoliant by Dermalogica. It is a rice base, uh, rice based exfoliant. They call it the daily microfoliant. It is definitely super gentle. So if you need something, I don't use it every single day, but like I said, I was over cleansing and I was over, over exfoliating. Um, it does make my skin feel so smooth. This is definitely more refined and gentle on the skin than the other one. It does kind of foam up a little bit. When I rinse it off, it just makes my skin feel so hydrated. Like it doesn't make it feel like it's taking any of the moisture out of my skin. It feels like it's putting moisture back into my skin. I love using this. I probably use this once a week. You guys know I'm a huge fan of sheet masks. Huge fan. I've raved about Tony Moly. I love Dr. Jart. It's more expensive. Um, Sephora has their own great sheet masks, but I recently found this one by, it's called, uh, I think it's Avatar. Avatara or Avatara. I don't know what the line of the VA means. I don't know. Uh, but I got this at Target. I think it's a dollar cheaper than the Tony Moly one. The Drink Up face mask is my favorite. I think I like it better than the Tony Moly ones. It has one of those protectors so it doesn't stick together, you know, so it's like easier to apply to your face. And it is so hydrating. It's, it's a great daily face mask. Daily face mask. I'm gonna do that tonight. Okay, another mask that I got from MAC is the Mineralize reset and revive charcoal mask. <sighs> Man, it is really difficult for me to find charcoal masks that don't irritate my skin, but this does not. It's fantastic. I really like it a lot. So it's a, it's a charcoal like mud mask and you're just supposed to put like a small, a very thin amount on your skin. It says use, you leave it on for five minutes and then wash it off with warm water. And it's basically just supposed to like 
clean you out. Sometimes I just, especially around my nose because my pores are larger there, I just need, I just need a deep clean. And so when I feel like I need that, I use this. So I probably use this once a week. It says use one to three times per week. I prefer to exfoliate more often than using a deep clean mask more often, but it's basically preference. Um, but if you are looking for a charcoal mask, these are great. They're so great for cleaning out your pores and it just makes your pores look like tiny afterwards. Your skin feels so smooth after mud masks. That's the thing. I love them, but they can be like really harsh. So you have to be careful, but this one uh, does not irritate my skin. All right, so recently I received this from Kaplan MD. This is the Exfoliate and Brighten Radiant Glow Microfoliant. There's like a little set. It comes with the exfoliant and the clarifying facial mist. And then it also comes with this latex-free sponge. Basically he formulated these for his clients who super busy people. So, you know, you get up in the morning, you put on makeup, you go to work, you go straight to the gym. And he said that a lot of his clients will work out. They've got makeup on. It's so bad for your skin. So when you work out, your pores open up and they are basically, you're just subject to whatever wants to work its way in. So you, your skin is going to absorb all of the chemicals in the makeup, in whatever like might be in the air. So the reason that he formulated this was for after the gym, you get your face wet, throw on a little bit of this, work it in for, I think it was 30 seconds, then leave it on for an initial 30 seconds to three minutes, I believe, to really let it like set into the skin. Then you use the sponge, get the sponge wet, use the sponge to remove it. And then you go in with the clarifying facial mist, which closes your pores. It also contains hyaluronic acid, rose water, and biofusion 3S. No idea what that last one is, but it's got those things. So I've actually really been enjoying these. I don't go to the gym. I work it out, out at home and I've never worked out. I don't work out with makeup on. So to me, I'm like, all right, whatever. I don't need this, but I did use this exfoliant, feels so good. I love the two, I love the combo. I think it's really great. Um, if you're like a super busy person and that sounds, if I just described you, I would recommend this little set because it's a great, I think it's a great idea. But if not, I mean, Kaplan MD isn't cheap. So it's not a necessity, but I do like them and I think it's practical and I think it's a good idea for people. I believe you can use this in the day, but I only use it at night. This is the Kiehl's. Powerful strength, line reducing, concentrate with 12.5% vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. <sighs> so vitamin C is incredible for anti-aging. When you apply it, it has like kind of a warm feeling, which is typical, but if you get like any irritation, make sure that you wash it off because it is powerful. Like there's a lot in here. So you never know if you're gonna have a reaction to something. It doesn't bother me. But when I wake up in the morning, I feel like my skin looks so bright, <laughs> like bright and healthy. And I haven't even been using this that long. Um, I don't use it every single day. I only use it at night and I probably use it maybe three or four times a week. So just because like when you're adding something new into your skincare routine, you want to ease it in, you know, because you are using a lot of different products. So you don't want to just go in and use like 30 different products from a bunch of different brands and none of them are formulated to go together. You know what I mean? So make sure you're being careful. But if you are looking for something that's great for anti-aging, something vitamin C, Super great, love Kiehl's, absolutely fantastic. So for daytime, uh, the products that I've been absolutely loving are, it's, it's been a combo and I don't really know why I started doing this, but this is the Milk Makeup Cooling Water Stick, I guess. Basically, this is meant to kind of like rehydrate the skin. It's supposed to be cooling, especially for like after, like maybe a, a late night of drinking or something, your skin needs a little extra hydration. But I've been using this every single day and I absolutely love it. <laughs> it feels kind of waxy, like a little bit when you work it into the skin but the the product itself is really soft so when you apply it to your face it feels like you're giving yourself a massage so i think that's part of the reason that i absolutely love it i've been going through it so fast because i'm just like obsessed but it kind of creates like a base of hydration for me which i really like i love layering hydration and then the next product is the calm water gel by dermalogica <sighs> I love this as a daily moisturizer. I have tried a few different products like this. This is the best one, in my personal opinion. It comes out as like a gel, like a clear gel. You can kind of see it right there. So you're supposed to work it between your fingers to activate it, and then you apply it to your face, and it literally feels like a drink of water for your skin. That is what it feels like. It is so crazy. I love the way it feels. It absorbs quickly. Like daytime moisturizer, I don't have time. I don't have time to wait for you to, to work. You know what I mean? Soaks right in, but it feels, it keeps your skin feeling hydrated. It's nice and lightweight. It doesn't smell like anything. So it's not like irritating. I really love this combination as my daily daytime moisturizer. Well, it's sort of a toner. This is the anti 
antioxidant, why can't I say that? Antioxidant Hydro Mist. This is by Dermalogica, again, from their Age Smart line. So this is something that I like to use at night. Spritz your face and neck directly after cleansing. You can also use it as a refreshing spritz over makeup throughout the day. It smells so good. <sighs> I can't describe any of the smells. The great thing about Dermalogica is that everything is natural. Mm, I wish I could describe that scent to you, but I just can't. <sighs> so good. Okay, eyes, so important. I know these don't really have anything to do with clear skin, but still you have to take care of your under eyes. The skin around your eyes is so delicate. I'm always looking for something that is really, really hydrating to take care of my under eye skin because it's very delicate and I have very dark circles and I've already got creasing under there and they're already very sunk. I don't need anything. I don't need to exacerbate the problems that I already have. That's all I'm saying. The first one I'm gonna talk about, Dermalogica, obviously. This is the Intensive Eye Repair. I've been using this as my daytime eye cream. Uh, it smells like yogurt. I just like telling you guys what this just smells like. It smells like plain yogurt. It feels very lightweight to me. It's called Intensive Eye Repair. It's definitely lightweight to me. If you're looking for something for daytime, this is definitely the best one that I've found. For nighttime, Shiseido, Fiance, Benefance, Benefance, Benefiance, Benefiance. Wrinkle Resist, I never even read them. I never know what they're called. Wrinkle Resist 24 hour eye cream. So, not cheap, so good. Little bit goes such a long way. I have been looking for a really intense eye cream to use at night, like something that's gonna hydrate. Best thing I've ever found, best thing. So it's like a really super thick eye cream. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's kind of like a, like a little nude color. The tiniest amount, I just pick it up with the back of my nail. Tiniest amount, like half a pea, perfect for both eyes, for both eyes. Uh, it goes a really long way. So I think it's like 68 bucks, but damn, is it worth it. I really recommend this if you guys are looking for like a super hydrating eye cream. All right guys, so just, just to recap, don't over cleanse, don't over exfoliate. I think over exfoliating is probably way worse than over cleansing, way worse. But what you're going to do is you're going to drain your skin of its natural oils and it's gonna retaliate. It's not gonna be pretty. <sighs> so that's it you guys, I just, I feel like I learned a lot in the past few weeks after that experience with Dermalogica. Sometimes if you feel like your skin is at a place where you just, you can't, you don't seem to be doing anything right. It just seems to be getting worse. Just take a step back, go back to basics. I suggest that everybody has a reliable beauty oil that's going to hydrate your skin and not cause anything crazy. Keep in mind the fact that everybody's skin is different. These products might not work for you. The combination that I'm talking about, maybe you have to exfoliate a little bit more. Maybe you have to exfoliate less. You never know. Proceed with caution. Make sure you do your own research. All right, guys, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. All of that is listed down below. The next video that I want to film is going to be in everything you need to know. This week got kind of screwed up, so I did some different things. I want to know what you want to see next. Please let me know what you want to see first. Do you want to see blending brushes, contour and highlighting, foundation? Let me know. I always want your suggestions. I want to, I, I, trust me, I want to do that series the most. Like, it's so much fun. I love the educational stuff, so. All right, guys, again, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Oh, you guys have no idea how hot it is in here. <laughs>